Hello everyone, this video is for Athena 3D engineering users. Uh, we strongly recommend that those who model their models by Athena 3D run the analysis in uh, Athena Studio uh, because it's much much faster. And uh, this video we will uh, learn how to do that by three steps. Firstly, we should create the input file. So we should go to data and save input file and then together then we should uh, choose where we will uh, save it and uh, like type name and then we will have the input file now we need to go to the folder where the input file uh, because we should modify two points uh, inside the input so if we open it by notepad and let's go to the end of the input file and here we can see this command means uh, like to save this, the load steps but if we have this slash so mean this command is not activated deactivated so we should delete this com uh, slash from all the commands uh, for to, to save so uh, we need to delete the, uh, the slash in the beginning and the end so here we can uh, use the uh, command replace and here uh, we can find what and then replace it with uh, the same but without slash as we can see here now without slash the same for the end also uh, we can like just copy the, this and then uh, replace it the same but without slash and replace all and in this way uh, we will have the steps or the uh, during the analysis the software will save the steps to the folder now uh, if we go to step ID 1 for example uh, to be sure and then we can see the output we can search like output should be the end of the step or we can search for store and then we can see there's like no slash again for the step ID 2 the same and so on second point we should uh, modify it is the monitors so we, we should find monitor and here we have a problem in, in the monitors unfortunately till now when uh, we create uh, the input file uh, the monitors written in each iteration uh, which is uh, not nice uh, and uh, we need it for each step and also the output name it's like changed to some mess numbers which is should be like this name and if we go like uh, during the analysis if we want to, to draw the LD diagram we will see here like there's a lot of uh, numbers and in kind of mess so we need here to change it and uh, to keep it as in the original in the Athena 3D engineering so here uh, we should change it to deflection these numbers and also if we search for another monitor it's here like, the, like monitor called load so we should do here put output name load another issue uh, to change each iteration to each step and we can see from the photos the, what's the difference between each iteration and each step so like uh, the iteration word here we should change it to step so here we can put step yeah and also if we if we opened any input file created in GID we will see monitor uh, slash 2 or underscore 2 it means like each step so we should put here uh, like underscore two for word called monitor. Now, if we open Athena Studio and create a uh, new project from input file and uh, select our input file, we can run the analysis now by uh, just clicking on runtime. But in this case, we will have thread one as in GID here. If we choose number of thread. Uh, just one and this case it means like so slow uh, so usually we use in GID number of threads not minus two so we need to run the analysis in minus two so how to do that 
we need to go to any uh, folder created by GIT and run it by uh, Athena Studio to have this file, run input file in Athena Studio. We need this file, we need to copy it and uh, to go back to our uh, input file. And this file, we, we should edit it in Notepad or any other way. And here we can see this like line. And here means like this, means like static. We are like using it in a static and here uh, the name of input file we should have this name our input file so copy this name and like again uh, paste it here and we can see here thread minus two so now the analysis will uh, run in so fast way and open it this file and then automatically Athena studio will uh, run and now we have the analysis running. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.